Well, hi again. I wasn't going to do a video on makeup, um, but I thought I would. I got a been getting a few messages. Thank you for the messages that I've been getting on my Facebook and um, in my YouTube. The uh, um, a couple of things. I mean, one person was kind of mad that I was, you know you know, kind of harsh on a previous video about people who say, do I pass, do I pass? And then, of course, some people thought I'd look pretty good in my videos, and, you know, I don't put too much makeup on, so I thought I'll, you know, go through sort of my regimen for just day-to-day -day makeup, not makeup, you know, that you're going to go out and whore around with and, you know, pick up people, have sex. So this one is um, just my day-to-day -day makeup and stuff like that. So, first of all, I started out, my my skin has been cleansed, uh, moisturized, and really I just use some oil of Olay and oil of Olay eye stuff, and I put it all around my eyes, and I put it there. For those of us who have, um, who are very prone to acne, I do use, you know, the 70% the rubbing alcohol just all, along those sections right and rinse always rinse when you cleanse your face rinse with cold cold water oh and that tightens up those skins especially when you start to get to be you know um more mature um especially for you know people in their 40s and you know 50s so i do suggest that you do what you can as far as that's concerned you know um if you are prone to acne i use a paper towel with the oil of Olay cleanser and just get it right in there. Another thing I do is, as far as skin care is I don't wash twice a day. I wash in the morning. I do the full thing in the morning. That's it. I don't think you need to to cleanse again. Maybe wipe a damp cloth and sort of wipe some of the makeup off. But basically, I don't. I think if you over cleanse, you really suck out all the moisture out of your skin as well, right? Now. As far as the base of what you're starting out with before you put your makeup on, I've said it before. Get that hair off of your face. Electrolysis. Uh, if you have dark hair on your face, laser is really a, a excellent way to go because then it it's like zap, zap, zap. You go three or four times and it's probably going to be gone. And that will probably cost about four or $500, right? So you know, get rid of it. I mean, if worse comes to worse, buy an epilady and you get a few strands epilady and just rip the hair out of your face. You know, pain, no pain, no gain sort of deal, right? So anyway, let's start first. You always, you know, your best friend is Q-tips. You know, I, I think it takes me many Q-tips a day to get ready, right? It's just great for doing things and stuff like that, right? So, we're going to get started first with the um, concealer, all right? Okay, here is some concealer that I'm going to use. I really like this True Match from L'Oreal just because it's, um, it really goes on easily. No fuss. It doesn't cake into the wrinkles, especially for us older gals. Um, and you can put it all around your eye if need be. If your eyes are very deep set, it's good to maybe put around the all the, the whole thing. So I'm just going to do one eye to show you the difference, right? Okay, so we'll put it on like so, right? Doop, doop. And I don't usually put it on the top, but I'll do it today just to show you what it looks like, right? Okay. And then just tap that in nicely. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Look how easily it goes on. And let me tell you, it's not cakey. It's really easily goes on, right? There we go. See? What a difference, hey? You know? Circles, no circles. Circles, no circles. So it's it's good. And it's it's just, you know, a nice natural look. You want to try to get just a, a shade or so lighter than your skin for for when you use a concealer okay so i'm going to put the other one on one moment okay the concealer is all on now it doesn't matter which way you go you know you can maybe follow your own which one you're going to do next 
the next thing I want to, I want to do is the eyebrows, okay? Um, now let's talk about the eyebrows, okay? Those of us who have still had that bone, right? We still have that bone, that Neanderthal bone that, you know, feminization surgery can fix. Uh, but of course, those of us who are unable to afford it at this time, you know, we have to make do. And um, there are certain ways to soften it and stuff like that, right? Now, first of all, when you shape your eyebrows, you want to do your best to arch as high as you can right here, right? Don't even be concerned too much with plucking everything in the middle, right? Of course, you don't want it hairy in here, but you really want it fleshy right there. And if you can, try your best to get that eyebrow to go over the bone, right? Over that Neanderthal bone that we have as uh, male to females, right? Well, a lot of us. So if you can get and shape it over that bone, you're halfway there to have like a nice feminine look. Also, train your face. Train your face and your muscles to look this way. So if you know, if you do have the sort of like the eyebrows that go up, train your, your eyebrows to stay up. And you know what? It sticks, it'll eventually stick where you know, it's natural for you to have your eyebrows up and, and lifted. And really the high, nice and high, it's just such a feminine look, isn't it, you know? So I'm going to shade some um, eyebrows. Now basically what I do is I take a light color a light brown, right? Okay, so maybe this one here in the middle there, or the one of these two are pretty light. And I just take this nice little brush like this and stab a little bit, not too heavy, blow a little bit out. And then I start in the middle. Don't start at the front, start in the middle because then you have more control how to shape, right? And then go to the back like this, right? and then bring it forward to the middle of the eyebrow because then it looks much more natural. I think the worst mistakes that um, transgender women make is they, they don't do the eyebrows very well. Oh my God, I think that's the biggest mistake. I think, I think it's one of the worst mistakes, okay? So as you can see, look how fast that was, right? Now I'm going to take a pencil slightly darker pencil and I'm just going to finish that edge off here right to have a nice edge there there you go see and look how nice that is like oh, 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 I'm angry mm. all right so I'm going to quickly do the other eyebrow one moment okay so I've penciled in the eyebrows with some shadow and I use the pencil just to fix it out nicely, right? And they're nice and la la la. Now you want to set it, okay? Even though a lot of the powders stay, uh, the shadows that you can use stay, I still, and this lasts all day long. It's been a trick of mine for years and you make the eyebrows will not smudge, move, no matter if you sweat, nothing, okay? So I just take my powder, right? And I always like to use a translucent powder. I use oil-free just because I break out so easily, oil-free, right? And then I just tap the eyebrows like that. Be generous, don't think you're putting on too much. And then just take your brush and just blow it off like that, blow it off. There you go, all blown off, okay. Now I told you before, I don't use foundation. This is certainly not for day-to-day -day use and if you do use foundation and if you do still have a beard and all this stuff or you have some very bad scarring of course put on your foundation put it on very moist skin tap it in nicely once you've put it put on your foundation and it's all over and it's all over make sure it's blended very nicely you might want to just take a little bit of water and what I've done is I just filled um what did I do with it I just filled um a water bottle with uh, bottled water and then I'll just sort of mist and it kind of settles everything and I usually do that at the end too. But myself, my usual regimen is I just put on translucent powder all over my face. All over. Quickly do that and it doesn't take very long to do this, right? Put all over just a little bit under the eyebrows and oh that gives such a nice look such a nice sheen right okay all over is it that okay all right 
I mean, look at that. Already it's like, oh. So, now, let's talk, we can, you know, usually what I'll do is the eyes and then I'll do the uh, shaping. So why don't we start out with the eyes, okay? So, again, daytime look. I take any easily applyable eyeliner, anything that is, you know, depending on your colors, of course, you can do whatever. Of course, I've got, I'm a darker person. I'm, you know, darker hair and all this stuff, darker eyes and blah, blah, blah. And But for the daytime, I just usually use a brown, a dark brown. I'll use a black once in a while if I want to be more dramatic and stuff like that. And you don't have to go nuts with this, okay? Now, again, I start slightly in the middle, okay? Slightly in the middle, and I don't go to the mi middle of the eyelid, and then I just slightly go out a little bit. Don't go nuts trying to have a cat eye and stuff like that, right? Right? And just don't go right to the middle because then what happens if you go too close in here and then it starts to rub off on the bottom and stuff like that, especially when you're, again, an older chick sort of thing, right? Um, and then I just quickly, that's it. Like that. Okay? I don't go nuts with it. It's really just to enhance the mascara. Okay? And, you know, I'll, I won't pause it. I'll just quickly do the other one here. And... Quickly, don't bring it to the middle and just quickly. I always say too, um, when you're putting on, especially eye makeup, one eye is always seems to be easier to do than the other eye, right? It always seems to be easier to do one than the other, just because what you see in your right hand, left hand. I suggest you start with the eye that is harder to do, just because then it's easier to match it with the eye that is easier to do, right? So I always do the harder eye first. For me, usually it's this one. I think, but I'm so used to doing it now that both of them are pretty easy to do, right? Sort of goes with your hair too. Do the harder side first and stuff like that. Okay, so look, I got the eyeliner on, nice. Okay, now you want that to stay all day long, right? So again, take, take a brush, take the powder, Take a nice generous of it, don't pinky you note, know, right? And then I literally set the eyeliner, right? Sort of get rid of the powder on the brush and just get rid of the excess. Like that, see? See how I do that? See, isn't that neat? Yeah. Aren't I cool? Aren't I smart and cool? Huh? Huh? No? Okay. Anywho, so now let's try some mascara now you want mascara i don't think i think anybody who puts on eye makeup and they do not finish it with mascara you know get the fuck out of here you know come on it, it, don't put on eye makeup if you're not going to wear mascara okay so just take this and now a good trick of putting on mascara especially if you don't have very long thick eyelashes I am so envious of you ladies out there who have thick eyelashes. So what I do is I lift the eyelid, lift it, lift it, and stuff, right? Lift, lift, and then gently to the end, like this, right? Okay, and it's like, oops, I got a little bit on, so hello Q-tip, and then just do that, right? Get rid of it. Okay, you can already see it's making, that's just one little coat. Okay, then we'll do the other one. All right. Put that on nice and gentle like so. Okay, so now we'll let that dry and then I'm gonna let it dry for a second and put on another coat. So one second, all right. There, I have all my mascara on. I just put on two coats for, for uh, the day, you know, and I have thin eyelashes. If you have thick eyelashes, then kudos to you. You just can put on one coat. Anyway, 
So that's it. I don't usually put makeup on during the day under my eye. Again, it's a personal choice thing. I think um, it really looks good on some people and it doesn't look good on others. For me, it doesn't look good if I put makeup all the way around because I have baggy eyes and they're slopey down, you know. So I just put it on the top and that's really all I do. I don't even put mascara on the bottom because it just makes my eyes appear smaller and heavier and tired, right? Again, that's just me. And during the day, I don't put on eyeshadow, right? But if you want, you know, you just feel like, okay, it's a bit deep set. And, oh, you know what? This bone is sticking out too much. Okay, you know, grab whatever. And just grab one of the lighter shades. Because, again, daytime, watch how much... The darker you don't want to put it on too dark and that's what makes people look like clowns they put it on too dark they're overzealous oh i want to be pretty you know and then it looks ridiculous and you know these are the same people that say do i pass and of course they don't and of course people are staring and they're wondering why they're staring it's because you look ridiculous let's 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 be real here and let's you know learn how to put on your makeup properly so just a little bit of shadow and i uh, oh just on that bone right on that bone that we Neanderthal transgender people have who can't afford surgery. So I just put it on that bone like that, just like that, okay? And that just subtly brings it down a bit, okay? There, there. And also, if you want to have, to make your eyes clear and bright and stuff, um, and they are very deep set, put some white or very, very light right in the middle, like this, like this, okay? And this is good for photos as well. It just makes the eye, everything disappear right here and stuff like that, all right? So that's really it for the eyes, okay? So now let's talk about face shaping. So you get yourself a nice bronzer brush. So we're gonna do bronzer, okay? Now, I'm running out of my favorite bronzers and stuff, you know, I have this one, but I think it's like a bit light. But anyway, I'm going to use this one anyway. So, bronzer. What is bronzer? Okay, yes, it gives you some color in your face. For us, for transgender people, it's an excellent way of shaping your face and toning down some of the bumps, okay? So, for me, I got the big chin. I got the big square chin. So, I just put the bronzer on my chin to make that down. And then of course, people who have bad Adam's apples or Adam's apples, you just bring that down like that, okay? And then just shade that and bring it down like that, okay? And then of course, the nose, right under here. And here, usually we have a thick skin right here, don't we? Like a white skin. I think that's one of the good surgeries to have is to lift that up and, hi. Oh, look at my teeth. Oh my God. Anyway, so you just put it out like this. Okay. And then remember I was talking about that bone that we all have here. So careful. Okay. Just put it on the bone, on the bone, not in the middle, on that bone and just there, and that will make it nice and soften it up and stuff. And of course I use it to fill in those cheekbones, right? And then I use it along the hairline, okay? All right? And that's it for the bronzer, okay? Now, let's put on some blush, okay? I use separate brushes for everything, of course. Makeup gets all over the place. Hope you don't see I'm naked. I'm actually naked here. <laughs> don't get turned on. Don't be turned on. Unless you're a man. Call me. Call me. So anyway. Okay. So just a nice shade. Try try not to go too pinky and ready and stuff like that. Certainly for the during the day. It's really just to give a healthy, healthy glow, right? So you take this. You have it here, blow the excess off, and you just want to start from that hairline and bring it through, bring it through, okay? Bring it up like that, okay? Do this, same thing. Bring it, okay, look at your cheekbones. Hi, look at my cheekbones. I have not had plastic surgery. This is natural, right? 
I'm actually very lucky. My native heritage has given me some pretty good cheekbones. I'm very, very, very lucky that way. So thank you, God and Allah and all of you out there. Okay? Okay. Well, that's done. Put some bit of brush. Now, for the older gals, you want to take the lighter shade. Now, any sort of lighter shade. So see, this bronzer has that light part. So I'll take not... I'll take the regular powder brush and I'll just take some of that light stuff and just right on under the eye, right there, right there. And that will really, look how nicely, it looks like it's like disappeared right here, right? So you can't see my bags or anything. I'm so beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, so that's done. Okay, that's basically it okay so let's talk about your lips now i always think it's nice just to put a little bit of color sometimes it's good to put some lipstick on i hate lipstick because you have to keep applying it i'm always scared it's going to smear and stuff like that but during the day you know really just put on some chapstick you know just have moist lips if your teeth aren't very white and you have problems with your teeth then this is one of the things you know try to whiten them it's not your, your teeth don't have to be straight, but you can certainly make them whiter. And you can do everything you can. You can use the whitening strips, everything, stuff like that, right? So for my lips, I like to add just a little bit of color, all right? A little bit of pink. Mm -hmm. So, you know. All right? Mm -hmm. And then, if you're somebody who's got maybe thinner lips, or you want to lift this up here, remember? The ha ha ha. Then you just take some... Uh, uh, any nice cream liner, lip liner, and you just slowly go up over on top. Nice. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Come on now. You don't really notice much of a difference. And that's the whole point. Uh, that's the whole point of makeup, isn't it? You almost don't, don't want to see that somebody's wearing makeup. It, you're just, it's just supposed to make you look fresher and pretty and la carefree and la 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 la. Right? So that's really it. That's all that I do for the thing. And then, of course, I take my powder wherever I go. And, um you know, touch up my nose and stuff. Don't worry about this being shiny because that's always nice to have that healthy glow right in here. But, you know, you always want to make sure the chin and the, and the forehead. And those are those parts that you don't want to reflect light, okay? And stuff, right? So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful for you. Natural is the way to go. You know, this is just for me, again, my own transgender point of view of how I like to put on makeup. Um, I really envy the, the punk rockers and the girls with the tattoos who go, I mean, I really envy that. And I think those artistic kind of people get to go real more hardcore with their makeup. And I just think it's awesome. For us, for the rest of us, you know, sort of boring people, we just want to look nicer and we want to enhance what we have and we want to do some illusions. So remember the eyebrows. Try to not worry about it being thin here. It doesn't even matter how thick it is in the middle. It's how it arches up. And if you can get it over that bone, you're doing yourself a favor. All right? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them or send me some private messages. Um, we will talk again and you take care.